and imprimatura is an initial stain of color on the ground. It is an Italian word that means first paint layer. The purpose of the imprimatura is to remove the distracting stark white of the canvas and to establish the drawing and values of the painting. Warm earth colors are commonly used for the underpainting and that's usually what I prefer. In this demo, I'm using transparent red iron oxide or transparent red earth. Uh, it's the same color, just goes by different names. Ideally, the chosen color should be dark enough to establish the dark areas of the painting. Um, so something like yellow ochre might be a little bit light. It uh, should be transparent or semi-transparent in order to allow the white of the canvas to show through. And ideally, I think should play a beneficial role in the painting. It should be a color that contributes to the overall effect, either because it contrasts with some of the colors you'll be using or kind of boosts them in some way. One of the main purposes of the underpainting, um, in my view, is to set up the value relationships right from the start. So as I approach a line, I actually want to switch that that line drawing into more of a values based, a light and dark based drawing or painting really in this case. So I'm going up to the outline and making it darker if needed, like you can see in the creases of the neck, for example, or just trying to introduce a value change right away, as you can see more in the cheek area here. So those outlines sometimes indicate a shape change, but often they'll indicate a value change. And if that value change can be established right away, we don't need the outline anymore. So it's okay if it starts to get, you know, pushed into the paint and become invisible. So this whole approach of building the painting from the ground up, uh, to me, signifies a few things. Um, first, we're, we're focused on the process and enjoying the process, looking forward to the next stage, but really taking each stage as far as possible uh, within reason. In that vein, I want to think about really taking the underpainting as far as is helpful in this stage. So like I said earlier, small details, while maybe feasible, are not particularly helpful. Getting the overall shapes and value changes to be informative, though, would be very helpful at this stage. So it's reducing the amount of decision making in subsequent stages. It means you can rely on the underpainting, rely on the information that's there. There are a few problems that can occur in the underpainting that I've seen anyways um, and most of them are related to using not enough or too much mineral spirits. Again we want to keep oil out of this so there's no added oil to the paint uh, because of the fat over lean rule. So we're wanting to keep fat paint, uh, paint with more medium on the last layers of the painting. And really, this is your, your foundation layer. So we're only adding a bit of mineral spirits, which is not considered to be a medium. It's a solvent. Now, without enough mineral spirits, the paint won't move around the canvas very well. Even if you're using um, oil primer sometimes, depending on how, how thick and smooth the oil primer is. So when that happens, it's easy to put too much paint on because we're just trying to, you know, to get it to move around the canvas. So do add a tiny bit of mineral spirits until the paint is at a workable texture where you can move it around the canvas without too much effort, but you still have control over it. Enjoy the underpainting process too. It's just such a beautiful layer. I think there's just, there's a lot of beauty to it all and it's its own merit, not just as a foundation layer for the painting. It's a great way of getting to know the painting and setting yourself up for a strong first pass. I hope you've enjoyed this and happy painting.
Visit nicolesleithatelier.com to sign up for the full course or become a member to access all content.